Have you ever wondered why the semi-trucks in Europe are available with these massive engines, such as the Volvo D16K with 750 horsepower and 3,550 newton meters, and the Scania V8 770 horsepower with 3,700 newton meters? Where in the US, engines only have a maximum of around 605 horsepower and 2,780 newton meters, even though the trucks are so much bigger. There are several reasons why truck engines in Europe are somewhat larger and more powerful than in the US. So, let's take a look at them. Horsepower versus Newton meters and pound feet. Before explaining why the European trucks have these big engines, let's make it clear that trucks really don't need that many horsepower. Rather, it is the amount of torque the engine is able to produce that is important to haul the massive loads. Torque is a rotating force produced by the engine's crankshaft. The more torque produced, the greater its ability to perform work, which is measured in newton meter in EU and as pound feet in US. Trucks in EU versus US. Before comparing the engines, you might have noticed that there is a big difference in the cabs of the European trucks compared to the US ones. We actually made an entire video showing and explaining why they are so different, so click on the link in the description and find out why. The Engines in US The four major engine manufacturers in the US are Packard, Detroit, Mack, and Cummins. Also, a lot of Caterpillar truck engines are driving around in the US, but they stopped manufacturing on highway engines in 2010 due to increasing emission regulations. The most sold engine in US is the Detroit DD15, which is a 14.8 liter inline six engine with 505 horsepower and 1,750 pound feet, which is used on the truck brands Freightliner and Western Star. Most of the US engines are around 12 to 15 liter engines with around 400 to 550 horsepower. The US truck brands use engines from separate manufacturer, like Packard, Detroit, and so on, whereas European truck brands each make their own engines. This video has been done in collaboration with NordVPN, the fastest VPN provider on the market. With NordVPN, you get access to content everywhere so you don't miss your favorite content, even when abroad or on the road. Choose from over 5,200 servers in 59 countries. So, no matter if you drive a truck cross-country, you still have a stable connection. Use the code TRUCKTOPIA and get 4 months for free when signing up for a 2-year plan, risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. It takes just a click, open the map, click on a location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy! Security is important when you're online. Threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. When a user downloads a file, threat protection inspects it for malware. With these advanced anti-malware capabilities, NordVPN has become more than just a VPN. It's now a powerful cybersecurity tool. So, click the link in the description and use the code TRUCKTOPIA and get 4 months for free when signing up for a 2-year plan. Now, back to the video. The Engines in Europe in Europe, the brands MAN, DAF, Scania, Volvo, Renault, Iveco, and Mercedes-Benz are available, each with their version of a truck engine. DAF drives with a Packard engine, and Volvo, Mack, and Renault also share engine parts and technologies. Also, Detroit is owned by Daimler Group, who also owns Mercedes-Benz, and the Trayton Group owns both MAN and Scania, which are coming with a shared engine at the end of 2024. So, the different engines probably share more components and technologies than you might think, and the difference between them may not be that big at all. The European engines range from around 440 horsepower to 640. However, Volvo and Scania are separating from the other brands with their massive engines. The Volvo D16K, which is the world's strongest inline six engine with 750 horsepower and 3,550 newton meters, is available on the Volvo FH models. Also, an option on the European market is the even bigger Scania V8 with 770 horsepower and 3,700 newton meters, which is the strongest truck engine produced in Europe. 
So now you know a little about what type of engines the EU have and the type US have. But we still don't know why it is that these big engines are not available on the US market. So let's get to it. Weight rules EU versus US. One of the reasons that US trucks don't have an engine with over 600 horsepower is the simple reason that so much power is simply not needed. The federal weight limit for a semi truck in the US is 80,000 pounds or 36 tons, which a 500 horsepower engine with 2,500 newton meters easily pulls through the American roads. So, because of the weight rules, there is no need for bigger engines, as they can do the work needed with fewer newton meters and horsepower. But it's a bit different in Europe. There are 27 different countries in Europe, which of course results in different rules. In Sweden, a truck can have a maximum weight of 60 tons, or in some specific cases up to 90 tons. In Finland, the maximum weight is 76 tons, and they are experimenting with 90 tons. And in some cases, even more. Most of the countries have a maximum weight of around 40 to 44 tons. However, many of the countries again have special rules which allow an increase in the weight depending on the type of driving, vehicle, and number of axles. With such high total weights, combined with steep climbs in the terrain, means that a bigger and more powerful engine is needed to pull the heavy load up the hills. Here it may simply be a necessity with an engine such as the 16.1 liter Volvo engine with 750 horsepower and 3550 newton meters, or the even bigger 16.4 liter Scania engine with 770 horsepower and 3700 newton meters as a smaller engine simply cannot haul as much weight. Landscape and Infrastructure EU versus US The roads and landscape are very different in EU and the US. The US is actually a relatively flat country. There is of course also places with hilly roads and big climbs around in the US, but the big roads have few climbs and are generally wide and long. Here it is a bit different in big parts of the EU, where in many places there are only minor roads, with much larger climbs, and where the elevation of the land can change several hundred meters. These increases, combined with the high total weight of the trucks, places a great demand on the truck's performance, and more than 3,000 newton meters may therefore be necessary. Also, the US is much larger in area than the EU actually over twice the size, where distances can be too long or too heavy for the trucks. Why larger and heavier cargo is transported by train, as it can be a faster and cheaper solution, depending on the size and weight of the shipment. It is therefore a combination of weight regulations and the landscape in which the trucks drive, which is the reason that the European trucks can be selected with the bigger and more powerful engines than in the US. Reputation and Appearance the last aspect that has to be taken into account is that the truck drivers in the EU care a lot about the reputation and appearance of their trucks. They customize their trucks, paint them in unique colors, and modify the truck a lot to make it stand out. It is important for them to have a nice looking and unique truck, which also includes driving a truck with a lot of horsepower, even if they might not need the extra power. There are many V8 enthusiasts who also just love the sound of the Scania V8 engine and are willing to pay more for this. If you want to see why Scania created the V8 engine and has kept it through all these years, click the link in the description. Also, there is a big shortage of truck drivers in both the EU and the US, and when drivers are hard to come by and want a good looking truck with a lot of horsepower, it's a way for the haulier to lure drivers to their company. We hope you learned something new and liked the video. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for much more.